Harbor. We have a job floating underwater at a max depth of around 30 feet. All of our equipment is loaded out. We're splashing the boat now. Let's head over to the harbor. Kirby Morgan 37 helmet, equipped with the 350 Superflow regulator, welding lens, top side controlled camera and light, and a GoPro. We're here today because of electrolysis. There's electrolysis in every harbor which is caused by stray electrical current in the water around marinas. Electrolysis basically super accelerates the corrosion of metal underwater and it's damaging this pier. To prevent this destructive phenomena from happening, we can install anodes. These anodes are bricks of pure zinc. Zinc is a less noble and weaker metal than steel, so once we weld these on, electrolysis will attack the zinc first, preserving the pier. Over time, the anode will completely dissolve and can be replaced as needed. Looks like dive station is all set up We'll be getting in the water off the starboard side of our diving vessel here and going under the pier to locate which piles the engineers want anodes attached. Now, this isn't a small marina and it's kind of difficult to tell where we're at from here, so let's zoom in. This marina is in the heart of Baltimore, right on the inner harbor. The main structure is a pier that's about 1500 feet long and has floating docks attached on either side with over 200 boat slips. Under this pier, there's hundreds of metal support beams called piles. The piles under this marina exist in clusters of six to eight piles that were vibrated down into the bedrock in a pyramid-like shape and connected at the top with a concrete cap. There's two rows of these clusters extending out into the harbor and that's what the pier sits on top of. Now that we've been briefed, let's get in the water. This is our fearless tender. He'll be supporting us from on top of the pier sending us down anything we need and over here supervisor is hooking up my hot water suit he'll be staying on board and controlling the dive from here
locating the first cluster that we'll be working on, let's secure a downline. That way we'll have a direct path to the guys on the surface, and they can easily send us down tools. Receiving our welding equipment from the downline, all we need is the anode. The anodes will be hanging from a rope that's tied to a float on the surface. Just have to climb up and get one and sink back down.
sequence of absorbing electrolysis. You'll see these strange looking white things throughout the dive. This is an anode that has begun to chemically change and dissolve from the outside in as it absorbs the surrounding electrolysis. Looks like there is still plenty of good, solid zinc in the core of this anode, so this pile should be safe from electrolysis, for now. Let's swim over to the next cluster and secure the downline. some cool powers, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see.
this next cluster, the piles were driven in a tight rectangular shape with little room in between each pile. I already secured the downline in the center of this cluster. I located two piles that I was able to fit through to get inside. This cluster is on the edge of a drop off, so once inside, it drops off another few feet. And it's complete darkness in there. Alright, let's drop down inside this cluster, weld the anode on, and then get the hell out of there.
Well, we made it out of there. If you're still watching the video, you're awesome. If you enjoyed the adventure, don't forget to drown that like button. And if you're interested in commercial diving, marine construction, or just like exploring dangerous environments in general, definitely consider subscribing because that's what we do and you're invited.